Okay, so fractions are pieces of parts. It helps to draw fractions as pictures at first. Okay, so this circle represents one whole. Okay, and if we are to split this whole, so pretend it's a piece of cake, if we are to split this whole into parts, We split it into four parts. These four parts all join together to make one whole. There are one, two, three, four, four parts. And if I shade in one of them, so if this is my piece of cake, I have one out of the four parts. If I have two pieces of cake, I not only have one part, I now have two pieces out of the four parts, which is also known as one half, okay? I have one half of the cake, also known as two fourths, which is also known as quarters. So when we think of fractions, we have two numbers. We have one on top and we have one on the bottom. The number on the top is the number we have and the number on the bottom is the number of parts it is divided into. So for example, we have three over four, we should have one whole piece of cake, we split it into four parts, and we have three out of the four shaded parts. So let's just say I have a bar of chocolate. and I divide it into six parts. And I give you three pieces of chocolate. The fraction would be three over how many? How many parts all together? Six. Some problems when you're doing fractions is that when you're drawing fractions, the parts that you draw have to be equal. So for example, I have another bar of chocolate and I want to split it in half. I'm not going to split it in half like that because the person getting this part would get a lot more than the person getting this part. So therefore they would not be getting half. If you're getting half, it has to be equal. So somewhere around about here would be good.